Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. It's Brooke with Refab. I don't know if you remember me or not. It's been a while since I've been live. You may have forgotten all about me, but hopefully you haven't. Um, I wanted to come live today. I was like, no matter what happens, I'm going live on Refab. I am making something. <laughs> My creative juices have got to flow today somehow. Um, I've been wrapping gifts. I've been getting, I've been, I've been doing so much random stuff. I've been so busy these last few weeks. Um, not just wrapping gifts, but just in general with a lot of things. And unfortunately, in business, it has caused me to not be able to be live as much. In 2023, one of my biggest goals that I have set out is to be doing more video again. So whatever it takes, I'm gonna make sure that I am doing more video because I love that. And I will, you know, time block and make sure it happens more. So I'm excited about that. I'm excited for 2023. Um, and I said, you know what, today we're doing something and that something is gonna be painting some whimsical greenery. And you may be like, how is greenery whimsical? Well, I'll, hopefully I can show you. I was looking for a canvas. This is funny. This is like total brook. I was looking for a canvas to paint on today and I found this one. Eden had drawn a guitar and she didn't like it, obviously. So she, I guess, just threw it in the floor of my craft room because that's where it was. And I'm like, I'll just paint over that. So, because I don't know where any other ones are right this second. I know I have about a bajillion. So, we're going to paint over this um, guitar. And um, we are going to paint, I guess you could call it mistletoe with berries. I don't know. And don't be getting all precise on me about mistletoe and what it looks like. This is just whimsy greenery that I'm going to call mistletoe. I don't know what it really looks like, okay? But we're going to have a little bow. We're going to have greenery coming down. We're going to have a fun backdrop. It's going to be super duper Cute. And Kylie just posted the link to my shirt just in case anybody asks because I know that, that some people might. It's very thin, very, very cute. I absolutely love it. And it comes in two colors, two colors, um, blush and I think sage, okay? So I've got on blush, clearly. All right, so let's get started um, because at two o'clock, it's one o'clock right now, Central Standard Time. Um here in Kentucky, and at two o'clock Central Standard Time, I am going live on the boutique page. So maybe y'all could catch me over there too, if you want to, it's up to you. But I will be live over there showing, I don't know, I got me a bunch of stuff to show. So I got a lot of stuff to show over there. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Um, so what I wanna do starting out on this, I just brought three colors, well, four colors, including white. I brought white paint, <clears throat> I brought flag red, limeade, and clover leaf, okay? Those are the colors I brought. I'm gonna use variations of these and different shades of these. I hope I don't, I think I can manage. Um, so what I wanna do is I wanna paint the background of this a pink color. Obviously, you didn't hear me say I've got pink. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my flag red and some white and mix it together. And that is how we're gonna make the background. Thank you, Susan. Hey, everybody, I hope you are doing so good. I wonder if this even, I hadn't used this one in a minute or two. I'm wearing small, Marianne, yes I am. What, that's coming out like liquid. Okay, there it goes. Whoa, I just shot it across my table. See, this is why I don't go live. Oh, good. It didn't get on the table. It just got on this. It just shot across. This is, see, I haven't changed. If you've been watching, I've not changed. I'm not any less of a hot mess than I was last time. That's either good or bad. I don't know how you want to interpret that, but either way, I'm the same. Okay, so I'm mixing the white with my flag red to come up with a really pretty pink color. I'm out of plates, um, paper plates, so I'm using don't be nervous for my sleeves. I almost can guarantee you that I won't get it on it. Okay. Okay, I think it's going to cover Eden's, um, yep, sure is. It's already covered. It's going to cover her uh, guitar. So, 
She didn't like it. I'm not painting over something that was, you know, that she wanted to keep. So no worries there. We're just gonna paint this. This is a pretty pink color, real pretty. And she's gonna make a pretty background and it needed to be something a little darker to cover up what was already on the canvas that, that we weren't keeping. So this pink works out good. And then of course, to lighten it up, you could always, um, let me scoot that over, move this. Thank you, Rachel. You can always um, add white, of course, which I probably will do, but let me just get this base coat on first. I hope y'all are excited about 2023 and all that's to come on Refab. I've got lots of fun stuff ahead. I, I am really, 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 it is, I talk, told them in my coaching group this, um, when we were talking about goals in there, that like video is at the top of my list for goals next year for business, you know, business goals. Um, I really, really want to do more video. I need to do more video. I want to. It's just one of my favorite parts of what I do. And unfortunately, so many things have had to take precedence that had to be done that this has had to kind of fall on the wayside just a little bit and that's not going to happen in 2023 i've got to get back to my video so i know the sleeves are making y'all nervous y'all just have to watch and see if i stay out of it okay all right so i got the pink done it's very pretty actually what i'm probably gonna do is when it dries a tiny bit I'm probably going to add just a little more white. Oh, can you do me a huge favor? Can you go to my bathroom in there? And in the and when you're looking at the vanity, the bottom left, get my hair dryer. That way I can do it a little faster. Um, I'm going to add more white. I'm going to go ahead and add some more white now. Um, <clears throat> but once it dries a little more, that white won't blend as much. It'll kind of stand out because I want it to be even lighter than it is right now. I'm gonna go ahead and use my hair dryer to dry it. Okay. Oh, okay. I got dark, I got bright. That's because we had to unplug the light. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Okay, let me move this. I'm gonna dry this bad boy off real quick. I'm not totally drying it because I still want the paint to glide, but I do want it a little bit drier. Okay. Oh, now I didn't mean to get it up a notch. Okay. There we go, there we go. That is what I needed to do, and that worked out perfectly. I found these uh, paint brushes right here over at the Dollar General. I think they were like $3, and they're the angled brushes. Um, and I like to use angled brushes. I don't know why, I just feel like I can paint good with them, or better, I don't wanna say good, better. Um, so I'm gonna try to use them today. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, let me go ahead and get my green. I've got, like I said, clover, clover. I was trying to say something else with it, but it's just called clover. <laughs> it doesn't have anything else with it. And then we got some limeade, limeade. I don't know if I'm, I'm gonna use a tiny bit of limeade, but I don't plan on using a bunch of limeade. <clears throat> then we're gonna use my flag red again. Oh, I've already got that over there. I'm gonna add a little bit of white. Again, because I've mixed the other. I don't know why it's so runny. Who knows? Okay. So, what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and start off with my green. My darker green. My clover. This is, I think, pretty much the same as marsh green. I don't know if y'all realize this, but Apple Barrel Paint discontinued marsh green for whatever reason. And that was one of my favorite color greens. So, they told me that clover is pretty much the same. So, the, if you have marsh green, 
that's what that is. So I'm gonna go up and I'm just gonna kind of come down like this on the top. I'm just kind of coming down from an angle and bringing it down. And then well, actually, yeah, that's plenty. That is like my stem for my mistletoe, okay? Then what I'm gonna do, I will do the leaves coming off of it, okay? We'll do the bow at the end. So there's no right or wrong way to do leaves. Let me just say this. Um, we're gonna come down, we're gonna kind of come at an angle, kind of like a teardrop a little bit. I'll just kind of show you, okay. Okay, do you see that? Okay, on both sides. Can y'all see what I'm doing? I think you can. Nothing about this has to be perfect, okay? And as you can see, I'm letting some of it be a little bit um, darker and some of it, you know, is just barely on there and they're kind of flowing together and all the things, okay? And I'm gonna flip it around so you can see in just a second. And I will be adding to it and all the things. But this is what it looks like right this second, okay? That's the stem coming down. These are the leaves or whatever, okay? Now, I used my thinnest little brush for that. So now I'm going to use my... It don't really matter. I'm just going to use another brush, okay? And I am actually going to use my clover again with a hint of white. Okay, so I added a little bit of white to my clover for this. And now I'm just going to kind of fill in the leaves. But I'm not like detailing every part of the leaf and like filling it in like your color in a picture. You're just still kind of doing that whimsy um, strokes, okay? But you're wanting to fill them in a little more. But you're not trying to get perfect. You're still letting some of this, um, you're still letting some of this pink show through, Okay. You're just kind of brushing it on there. I hope this makes sense how I'm explaining it, but you can watch the process. And even if, even if I'm not explaining it the best, I think you can see what I'm doing. I think it actually is looking pretty already, personally. But this is my style of painting. This is not everybody's style. But more than likely, if you follow this page, then you know what my style is. And you probably like it or at least can appreciate it. Or you probably would have quit following a long time ago. So I'm just dipping this in just a tiny bit of white every time I go in with my brush. I'm just kind of trying to fill in as much as I can. Kind of still making the strokes of the... Um, kind of the teardrop every time I come down. Just to kind of keep within that same look. And then I'm gonna go in with some limeade here in a minute. I'm trying to keep like a point at the bottom, um, like a leaf. But I'm not, like I said, I'm not trying to make it perfect. Alrighty. I will show y'all in one second. Okay. Now, here it is so far. See, look how pretty that's going to be. And I may add more to the bottom and all the things. Um, I haven't decided yet. Let me see. I might just add one more right here. I feel like it kind of needs a little something right there. And we will also take white and outline this as well so that it's not too, you know, so it does kind of come apart a little more. Adding another one here too. Okay. 
instead of lime, well, that one is a little too light. I'm gonna add a little darker to it. Okay, so I'm gonna go back in again with my marsh green, the darker marsh, or the darker, it's not marsh, it's clover. Sorry, but it's the same. Go in with that and then add just a little bit of limeade to it this time. So last time I added, um, <laughs> so yeah, for a big old limeade, I know. So last time I added white, this time I'm adding limeade. And I'm gonna kind of do the same thing, but kind of just not filling it in as much, just kind of outlining and kind of doing a little swoosh in the middle with the limeade as part of it. Hopefully you can see, after this I'll show it to you, because I forgot to hold it up just now. Um, hopefully you can see how the limeade is already accenting it. Because it, it is, and it's really pretty. We're going to add more white. We're going to add more marsh. We're going to keep layering. I'm actually going to go over the stem with some limeade. And I think I did it on here, but I think it needs to be just a little bit brighter. Let me show you now where we are. There's still a lot more to do, so don't base anything on this yet, but it is definitely already looking pretty. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? So, um, I know I see a few things I want to do, so I'm going to go ahead and take my marsh again. I want to extend this out just a little because I felt like that was a little too skinny. Extend this one out a little. Thin that out a little so it all comes together a little better. And then just add a little bit. Okay. All right, so here's what I did. After that, I added, I changed that up just a little bit, and you can see. And of course, we're going to be adding berries, we're going to be adding the white, we're going to be adding a bow, all the pretty things. So, Next, I'm going to go ahead and just take, I just am wiping it off on my um, paper towel. I'm not actually cleaning it off. And um, <coughs> so I'm going to add white, okay? I'm going in with just white because we're just accenting. And it's going to be pretty, um, pretty stark, which is what I want. And if I decide I don't like it, all I got to do is add green on top of it, okay? And I'm not doing full, okay, I wanna explain. I'm not doing just holding it down and outlining. I'm just kinda of doing some strokes along the outside, okay? But I'm kinda of letting some of it go on the outside of the leaves. Not all of it, but a little bit. This is one of those, it looks really pretty, and then you probably go through some stages where you're like, eh, is this how I'm wanting it? But you just gotta keep going. And my paint is kinda watered down. Not, not all of my paint, but my white paint is pretty watered down. And I think that is actually really helping so I like that. So you may want to water your paint down a little bit. I'm going to add just a tiny bit of white to my stem. Okay. Let's see. Hmm. Now I, okay, let me show you what this looks like before I do anything else. Okay, this is it so far. I think this is looking so good, okay? Personally, if I can toot my horn. Um, and then I'm just gonna kinda add just a little bit more in some places, some little thicker. Kinda on just some of the outsides. I don't, whatever I do it with 
my style, I don't want it to look perfect. I just, I, that is not what I like. Okay. All right. So maybe one more right here. Okay. I also never know when to quit. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to just wipe this brush off again. As you can see, I've never dipped it in my water. Okay. But now we're going to start on the berries, okay? Um, yes, the pink background is so cute. Now we're going to start on the berries. And they're usually in clusters. So um, I'm going to dip this same paintbrush. I'm going to get quite a bit of red paint on it. You can see I got quite a bit. And we're just going to, not every um, leaf is going to have red berries, but some of them are. So we're going to just do a dot here. Kind of just round about here. That was quite a bit of red paint on that, like I said. So I kind of could actually get a little bit of that off. And I'm not making sure they're perfect circles either. Now, I want them to look like berries. But I'm not... This would be great for textured paint on these berries too. This is not textured paint, but sometimes you've seen me use the really thick, thick-bodied paint. I should have actually grabbed some of this because that would have been really good for this. But I'm just going to use regular paint um, today. But you could definitely use that and it would be really, really good. Let's do another one right here. Just kind of dabbing it. Do a little dabby dab dab. Okay. And then I'm just going to kind of look at it. Let me show you what it's looking like so far. Then I'm going to just kind of look at it and decide where I want more berries. Some right here. And don't forget, like if you're doing it like me, it is going to be still wet. So you're not, like I'm just getting plenty of paint on this so that I can just kind of dab it because it is still very very wet and i don't want to smear it so it's going to take a minute to dry which that's okay this is so pretty i love pink and red you already know i love that combo so i just think this is really pretty and it's okay if some of this is going over on the white and onto the pink. This is a whimsy painting. This is not a realistic painting, okay? So don't be worried about being perfect. Just make sure they all kind of look somewhat the same. And I'll just do a few more down here maybe. Just so we have kind of symmetrical. It might have to be perfectly symmetrical, but we want to make sure we've got, you know. I think I need one more down here, maybe. And one more little cluster, and that should do it. Then we will do our bow. What do y'all think so far? Is this not cute? I think it is. Here it is so far. Look, hello, hello, so cute. Okay, I'll leave it up longer in a second. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and take another dry brush just so I don't have to, you know, I don't know why I'm just saying. Um, and I'm gonna use my white. Now I do, I'm gonna try to add a little more white because it, it's just so runny. Okay, there's some thick white. Now I'm not good about drawing bows. So I could mess it all up right this minute. Okay. But I'm just going to start at the top. Oh gosh, I hope I can do this. Let me just kind of draw it out in my head. Okay. Nah. Okay. Okay. Um, this is all I did. I'm going to fill it in a little bit. I'm not actually going to fill in the bow, but I'm going to thicken it up just a little. And then bring 
some of it down a notch. I still have not gotten it on my arm, knock on wood. Okay, so now I'm going to just kind of bring it down a little. Okay, I might just leave it like that because sometimes the simpler the better. But there's my bow. And I think actually I might use a little bit of green up in the bow just to kind of tie it together. Not a lot, but just a little. Okay. Let's see? Um, I might, I'm wondering if I need to kind of here. Hold on. Okay. Oh, that feels like I just messed that up. I gotta... Sorry. Let me look at it myself real quick. Okay, there is ribbon coming down, but I don't want to, it can't come down over this because this is still wet. So I'm kind of nervous to, you know, add too much to that because right now it would mess it up. Let me look at it. I'm gonna add just a little more white. I'm just gonna keep tweaking it just a little up at the bow, just to make it just a little bit stand out just a tiny bit more. Oh, I know what I can do. Okay, I know what I can do. I have this tulip paint, okay? I have this tulip paint. Ooh, I know what I need to do, a red berry up on the bow, hold on. And then I'm gonna use my tulip paint. Red berry smack dab in the middle. Okay, that red berry really made a difference. That red berry made a big difference up there. Okay, so I have this Tulip Slick Fabric Paint, okay? And what I like about using this kind of paint is it's very, very thin and you can do accents with it. So let me make sure it comes out first, okay. So, um, I'm going to do just a little bit of accenting on this, okay? I do think that it has, it makes a big difference. Well, that has bubbles all in it. That ain't pretty. I especially love it on the outside. And I think I'll really like it up here on the thing. Poor Eden, I can hear her hacking her lungs off. Okay. And if you end up putting that on and decided you don't like that, it's no big deal because you can um, fill it in. But I think it added just a lot of extra dimension to it. And I think it looks really cute. Um, need to add one more right here that I see. Actually, I'm gonna add one more right here too. Okay. All right, I'm gonna quit. I'm still not positive on the bow that I'm that happy with it, but I it is okay. It's not bad at all. So here we go. Go ahead and show it to you. This is it. If you want to do a screenshot, I think this turned out really, really, really cute. I really do. I think that the tulip paint, and I'll show you a picture of it here. Let me just 
keep holding this like that. Or I'll show you. The tulip paint, I got it for $5.49 at Hobby Lobby. I don't think it was on sale. It's not like dirt cheap. They also have it at uh, Walmart. But I think that turned out really, really cute. And you know it matches my whimsy style, so it matches my house perfectly. So I will go ahead and um, I want you to go back after you're able and add the red puffed up. That would be really pretty if I added some red too. Um, with, but I absolutely love that. I'm gonna set it. I think it's really, really cute. I'm really proud of that. Yeah, I think that turned out really cute. That was very easy. Um, nothing to it. There is no perfection required for this project. Um, I don't ever do projects that require perfection. Something else that would have been really cute if you want to do to this background is add like stripes, like big thick stripes before you paint this on or something else to make it even extra whimsy. Um, and you could do your bow first so that you're working around your bow instead of last, which I might should have done. But everything that I did was just step by step, just just kind of haphazard, but with, with some thought process to it as well. And I think it just ended up coming along perfectly. So thank y'all for being here. Y'all make sure to sprinkle this video, okay? I would love for you to sprinkle this video. That is just That just helps us so, so much. And I hope y'all have a Merry Christmas. If I'm not on here before Christmas, it um, has been tough for me to get on here, but this has been a breath of fresh air. I was so glad to be back. So if you want to, in 30 minutes, um, at two o'clock Central Standard Time, I will be live on the Refab Boutique page um, for my live over there. I have lots of new items to show. So if y'all wanna come hang out, whether you buy a thing or not, you can come hang out with me. We have a big old time over there. Um, so come join me over on the Refab Boutique page at two o'clock Central Standard Time. And I will post a picture of this staged in my home in the comments so that you can see it and just make sure you sprinkle with your friends. Bye guys, y'all have an awesome day. Hey, guess what? No pain on the sleeves.